Folks, the semiconductor industry is quietly entering its next massive growth phase, with projections pushing it toward a $1 trillion market in 2026. And just like every major tech cycle before it, the biggest opportunities aren't always in the names everyone already knows. While most investors are focused on large-cap chip stocks, a handful of small, overlooked semiconductor companies are building critical technology behind the scenes. And in this video, I'm breaking down four semiconductor stocks trading under $5 that I'm personally watching heading into 2026. Before we start, remember folks, this video is for educational purposes only, and this is not a financial advice. I am just simply sharing my research and watch list. And if you like catching major trends before they go mainstream, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Let's aim for 500 likes on this video. Now let's jump right into it. So the first semiconductor stock on our list is Mobix Labs, trading under the ticker symbol MOBX on the NASDAQ. And this is truly one of those companies almost no one is talking about right now. Mobix doesn't show up in mainstream discussions, it's rarely mentioned on financial media, and it doesn't benefit from hype cycles. But historically, these are often the kinds of semiconductor companies that end up surprising the market when the industry enters its next growth phase. What Mobix does is highly specialized. As a fabulous semiconductor company, it focuses on designing advanced RF, optical, and mixed signal chips without owning its own manufacturing facilities. This allows the company to stay flexible, keep costs under control, and concentrate resources on innovation rather than capital-intensive fabrication plants. Mobix's solutions are used in high-performance communication systems, where signal integrity, low latency, and energy efficiency are critical. These are not optional features in defense systems, aerospace platforms, or AI-enabled networks. They are mission-critical requirements. One of the most important developments for Mobix came in November 2025, when the company announced that it had taken a strategic minority stake in Talking Heads Wireless. This move is far more significant than it might appear on the surface. AI is putting massive pressure on wireless infrastructure. As data volumes explode and real-time processing becomes the norm, base stations and communication networks are consuming more power, generating more heat, and becoming increasingly expensive to operate. Power efficiency is quickly becoming one of the biggest bottlenecks in next-generation networks. Wireless specializes in AI-driven power management technology, designed to optimize how energy is used at the base station level. By combining this technology with Mobix's RF engineering expertise, the two companies are targeting significant energy savings in wireless infrastructure. According to management, this partnership is not experimental. It builds on work that began in November 2024, and Talking Heads Wireless is already in advanced prototyping stages. That means Mobix is positioning itself as a commercialization partner in next-generation AI-enabled communication systems rather than trying to reinvent everything internally. From a growth perspective, Mobix is showing some of the strongest numbers on this list. The company reported year-over-year -year revenue growth of more than 180% and three-year revenue growth of over 190%. These are not incremental gains. They reflect a company that is scaling from a very small base but gaining real traction. Hedge fund ownership remains low, with only six hedge funds holding positions, which again reinforces how under the radar this stock still is. Financially, Mobix has made meaningful progress. For fiscal year 2025, total net revenue is expected to land between $9.7 and $9.9 .9 million, up from $6.4 million in fiscal 2024. Gross margins are expected to expand to just over 50%, compared to under 40% the year before. That kind of margin expansion is extremely important because it signals improving product mix and stronger pricing power. At the same time, operating losses are narrowing both on a gap and adjusted basis, showing better cost control and operating leverage. With the stock trading around 27 cents, the market is valuing Mobix as if execution will fail or growth will stall. But if AI infrastructure spending continues to accelerate into 2026 and energy-efficient wireless systems become a priority, Mobix could see a very different valuation environment. This is the type of semiconductor stock where even modest success can translate into outsized percentage gains simply because expectations are so low. Now, let's move on to the second semiconductor stock, Semileds Corporation, trading under the ticker symbol LED as on the NASDAQ. This is another company that almost no one is talking about, despite posting some of the most dramatic revenue growth numbers in the entire small-cap semiconductor space. Semileds develops and manufactures LED chips and components for general and specialty lighting applications. Its products are used in areas like ultraviolet curing, medical and cosmetic treatments, counterfeit detection, horticulture, architectural lighting, and entertainment. These are not mass-market consumer LED bulbs. These are specialized applications where performance, wavelength precision, and reliability matter far more than price. The headline number that immediately stands out is revenue growth. Semi-LEDs reported year-over-year -year revenue growth of nearly 730%, with three-year revenue growth of over 80%. 
For fiscal year 2025, revenue surged to $43 million, compared to just $5.2 million in fiscal year 2024. That kind of growth is rare, especially for a company trading around $1.62. However, it's important to understand why this growth occurred and why the stock remains volatile. Management has explained that much of the revenue surge was driven by buy-sell purchase orders of equipment that flowed through other revenues. This created heavy customer concentration, with one customer accounting for a very large portion of revenue in certain quarters. As a result, revenue can swing significantly from quarter to quarter, which has made the market cautious. In the fourth quarter of fiscal 2025, revenue declined sequentially from the third quarter, and margins came under pressure. Gross margin for the quarter was around 2%, and operating margins remained negative. Cash at the end of the quarter stood at $2.6 million, which highlights ongoing liquidity risk. These factors explain why the stock hasn't followed revenue higher. But the longer-term story is about transformation. Semi-LEDs has outlined a pivot toward a fabless business model. This shift is designed to reduce idle manufacturing capacity, lower fixed costs, and allow the company to focus on higher margin modules and specialty LED products. By concentrating on niche applications like UV LEDs, where competition is more limited and pricing power is stronger, management believes it can improve operating results and cash flow over time. For investors, Semi-LEDs represents a high-risk, high-reward semiconductor turnaround. The stock is priced as if the recent revenue growth is unsustainable and margins will never recover. If management succeeds in stabilizing revenue quality, reducing concentration risk, and improving margins, the market could reassess the company very quickly. In a semiconductor industry approaching a trillion dollars in scale, even small niche players can find profitable footing. Now let's move on to the third semiconductor stock on our list. And this one focuses on a problem that is becoming increasingly critical across AI, electric vehicles, and renewable energy systems. Ideal Power, trading under the ticker symbol IPWR on the NASDAQ. Ideal Power develops patented bidirectional semiconductor power switches known as B-Trans, which are designed to significantly reduce power loss and heat compared to traditional solutions like IGBTs. Power efficiency is one of the most overlooked challenges in modern technology. As AI data centers grow larger, as electric vehicles scale globally, and as renewable energy systems expand, inefficiencies in power conversion translate directly into higher costs, more heat, and greater complexity. Ideal Power's BTRAN technology aims to address this by replacing multiple components with a single bi-directional switch, simplifying system designs and improving efficiency. The company has been making steady progress toward commercialization. In November 2025, Ideal Power appointed a new president and CEO, David Somo signaling a stronger focus on revenue generation and market adoption. Since then, the company has expanded its automotive engagements to a sixth global automaker and secured orders from a fifth global tier one automotive supplier. Development work with Stellantis continues, with multiple deliverables underway. One of the most important technical milestones came in late 2025, when Ideal Power increased the power rating of its discrete BTRAN product by 50%. This expanded the addressable market and reportedly drove increased interest from the sales pipeline. The company also achieved a key milestone with solid-state circuit breakers, where a major customer completed prototype testing, and Ideal Power is now finalizing the first product design targeting AI data center customers. Financially, Ideal Power is in a relatively strong position for a microcap semiconductor company. As of the end of the third quarter of 2025, it held $8.4 million in cash and carried no long-term debt. Though while the company reported a net loss of $2.9 million for the quarter, management has indicated that current cash reserves are sufficient to fund operations through mid-2026. With the stock trading around $3.30, Ideal Power is essentially a bet on whether its BTRAN technology becomes widely adopted in high-efficiency power systems. If AI data centers and EV platforms prioritize power efficiency as expected, Ideal Power could find itself in the right place at the right time. Now let's talk about the fourth and final semiconductor stock on our list. And this one is arguably the most established and institutionally visible of the group, Indy Semiconductor, trading under the ticker symbol Indy on the NASDAQ. Indy is a fabless semiconductor company focused entirely on the automotive sector. The company develops high-performance silicon, photonics, and software solutions for advanced driver assistance systems, in-cabin experience, and vehicle electrification. Indy's products act as the sensory and processing backbone of modern vehicles. From radar and LiDAR to cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and driver monitoring systems, Indy's chips process real-time data that enables features like collision avoidance, autonomous driving, and driver safety. Unlike many semiconductor companies that serve multiple industries, Indy is a pure-play automotive supplier, which gives it deep expertise and strong relationships with global OEMs and Tier 1 suppliers. Recent developments highlight the company's momentum. In late 2025, Indy secured major design wins, including image signal processing for a North American RoboTaxi OEM, 
and a system safety IC for a European Tier 1 supplier. These wins typically translate into multi-year production programs once vehicles move into mass manufacturing. The company also launched new photonic products, including narrow line width laser diodes with applications extending into quantum technologies. The acquisition of Emotion 3D strengthens Indy's in-cabin perception capabilities, adding advanced software to complement its hardware offerings. Financially, Indy reported third quarter 2025 revenue of $53.7 million, with non-gay app gross margins near 50%. While the quarter missed analyst expectations slightly, operating losses improved, and strategic backlog grew to $7.4 billion, providing long-term revenue visibility. With the stock trading around $3.70, the market appears cautious about near-term execution and macro conditions. However, if adoption of ADAs, robo-taxi platforms, and vehicle electrification continues into 2026, Indy's backlog and technology position could drive meaningful upside. To wrap things up, all four of these semiconductor stocks trade under $5, yet each plays a different role in the technology stack that is driving the industry toward a trillion-dollar future. These are not hype-driven stories. They are infrastructure-level bets on where technology spending is headed next. These stocks are volatile and risky, but that's exactly why they're still overlooked. If you found this breakdown useful and want more deep dives like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll keep sharing my research and tracking these under-the-radar semiconductor stories as the next phase of this industry unfolds.